Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message with me. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Uh, Timestamps and titles of each zodiac sign will be listed in the comments below. Um, please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal one. Uh, for those who are new here, I am a psychic medium. Um, you can look into my about me section um, or in the description of this video. There's more details on um, my abilities, what I can do, um, how I read, things like that. Also, you can look into past live videos or reviews um, that's located in Facebook and um, also here. You can look into past live videos here, uh, Q&As. All Q&As are done with no cards, no tools. That is how I read you um, in a personal reading as well shown, you know, in a live reading. So... If you want to read them by me, you could definitely get one. The information is listed in the description of this video on how to book with me. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it, starting with Aries. 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 All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you at this time. Sarah, please show us a message for Aries. 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 What is Aries' message? Please show us three. Aries. Realization. Some of you could have came to realization about something. Something that's coming to light for you. Uh, we have cricket, silence, non-action going on here. But someone is tuned in. Internet, connected. Someone is staying, staying, someone is staying connected, but they're silent. Show us more. For Aries. We have meeting. Two or more people, discussions, planning. So there could be a it could be a meeting coming up or there's a meeting going on right now. Someone could have just stopped and got gas. I'm actually literally smelling the smell of gasoline that I despise. <laughs> I hate the smell of it. Um, but yeah, uh, someone may feel closed in or trapped, frustrated in a situation. Because maybe you want to meet up or you want to have a discussion, make a plan, but you feel stuck. So you're stuck in silence, but yet connected. So maybe this could be social media wise. Maybe you're looking into something or this is someone else that's feeling this way with you. Show us a message. Someone name could start with an S. Show us a message for uh, Aries. 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 I'm here. Um, I'll be gone to November. I'll be gone to November. I'm not sure if that came out in your reading before, Aries, but I know it came out before. Um, it may have been in my Patreon, but I remember that coming out in someone's reading, but I'm not sure if it was uh, Aries. I know, matter of fact, I want to say a long time, like years ago, that came out before two or even a year ago, something like that. And a um, weekly message for either Taurus or Scorpio. I don't know, somebody. But that makes sense, November. November is Scorpio month. But uh, let's get a message here for Aries. So maybe you're be, you, you, someone is saying that they'll be gone to November. <laughs> Show us a message for uh, Scorpio. Y'all yeah, remember the game, um, they're giving me this. And then I'm here, who shot John? Who, me? No, it wasn't me. Like, um, but y'all remember the game? I'm hearing that, but that's not a part of the game. The game is, ah, uh, clue, clues, clues, I think clues, something like that. So maybe it's some clues to a situation like you put, put you putting the pieces to the puzzles together. That realization, that could be the realization you're you're uh, 
finding something out or something is making sense now all right show us a message for aries all right this could be pertaining to a family situation um due to a lover someone may have a choice in love show us more on this energy for aries not a pentacles in reverse <clears throat> Aries, someone could be dealing with a Gemini. Show us more on this energy for Aries. We have the Ace of Wands, a passion new beginning here. Someone have a choice in love. Someone could be someone keep repeating the same cycle, keep repeating the same cycle with someone. Possibly with a Gemini, but someone want a passion new beginning. Show us more. Someone could have Gemini placements. Or this or that could just be the, the message here, not so much of the signs. So just if the signs is yours, great. If it's not, it don't matter. If the message is yours, that's what matters. All right, judgment. Yeah, it's like someone wants to renew things with someone. Someone have a lot of passion. Someone is in love with someone. But something keep repeating. Something is a repeated cycle. That could be the realization. Like someone is figuring out the clues of why something keep repeating. Show us more. Like why something keeps being stalled, silenced, quiet, crickets. Why, why someone is feeling frustrated or feel trapped. Feel like they can't move forward when they want to move forward. Show us more three of wands in reverse because someone is in a, a negative environment this environment is keeping you held back oh wow whatever this environment is it could be a home your foundation this could be uh friends groups family business like whatever this is it's holding you back it's holding you back from this meetup mm. yeah it's holding you back from this meetup show us one more on the three of wands Three of Wands, the world. Someone is at a distance. Someone needs to close a cycle out with this with this um, negative group. It's something about a fire sign as well because they're showing me the Queen of Wands in my vision, but they're showing me the Queen of Wands literally in a in a reverse. Like, yeah. So and it's not it's, it didn't come out in the spread. So they're showing me this for a reason. So it could have a lot to do. So I don't know. Either you're dealing with a fire sign or that whoever you're dealing with could be in that energy. And the energy of the Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who is very, uh, this person could be vengeful. They could be very, uh, they play too many games. This person could be, I'm really getting like dark witch type thing. Like someone could definitely be uh, dark. You know, they, however they got to get it, they're going to get it. Even if it's hurt, kill, destroy you, however this is. Um. But I feel like someone is playing games to get their way with you, or this is you. But something needs to come to an end due to this person. It could be another Aries. Some of you, it could be a Sagittarius. Someone is trying. Someone has been betraying you over and over again. They literally just showed me the Ten of Swords in my mind side too. That is crazy. Yeah. So someone could have been betraying you over and over again. That could have been the energy of the Queen of Wands that they show me. I might as well just don't use the cards, period. I mean, I'm doing the weekly. is less energy where I do the cards because I have done readings with you all um, in the past for those who have been with me forever. But I have done readings where I just did my vision for each zodiac sign. And that's, that's draining. But... Um, the way they're giving it to me right now, I might as well have done that. But uh, it seems as if they're trying to tell you about someone. Someone could be evil or trying to uh, betray you or have betrayed you. Show us more on the lovers. The lovers. Someone is going through a rebirth. The lovers is clarified with the hangman is nine of swords. Someone is stressed out because they feel stuck with the lover. Yeah, someone have a choice in love or have to, someone feel stuck with the lover. Like feel stuck with working things out with the three of pentacles. So either you do, someone do. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Show us more on the knight of pentacles in reverse. Knight of pentacles in reverse. Clarified with the ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, someone keep going through a repeated cycle with... Someone that they're not happy with. This this is the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is this is like you're not fulfilled here. You're not fulfilled in love. It's like I'm not feeling this. 
but someone is not feeling a situation, not feeling someone, maybe someone keep repeating themselves with you, keep trying to come back into your life. And you're like, man, just leave me alone. <laughs> um, but this could be stressing you out or something, or this is a situation that you're in, you're trying to get out of, and it's hard for you to free yourself. And that is why the lockbox here, some of you, you could be, uh, you could be stressing out due to a court case or some type of legal situation with the, um, maybe someone could be thinking about like maybe having to go to jail. Someone could be scared, having anxiety, wanting to avoid this by any means, racing, running, avoiding. Someone also could be running and avoiding a, a commitment here as well or wanting to get out of a commitment because they feel stuck. They feel stuck, frustrated, closed in, locked. So there's a situation here that you need to free yourself from, okay? You need to free yourself from in order for this new cycle to come in. Because there's, it's definitely an ending, whether you do it or not. But it just seemed like, you know, if you take action towards this, it will happen a lot sooner. So you can receive what's meant for you. I mean, well, so you can receive what's yours sooner, okay? Yeah, you need to end something. We got the death here. There's an end. And I, didn't I say I feel like you, you're going through a rebirth here? And this is exactly what this is. This is exactly what this is. You're going through a rebirth. Show us more with the death. Some of you could be coming into connection. Passion new beginning with the ace of wands to the judgment to the death. Some of you could be coming into connection. Possibly with the Scorpio. Renewing things with the Scorpio. Or there's, there could be a situation. Someone is being judged here. Someone is being judged due to what they did to a Scorpio or someone could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Something like that. Show us more with a death. Death is clarified with the King of Wands. King of Wands and death. What is this? King of Wands and death. I just feel like you're going through a rebirth. That's your justice. So uh, something is ending for something to begin. So the, like I said, it's a change in lovers or uh, releasing of... Even if you're not like in a relationship, you could be closing a cycle out with someone that was that brought a lot of turmoil or problems in your life. You know, you may not even been in a relationship with this person or you just maybe you was in the past and they just never let go or something. And they caused a lot of problems. Something is going on, but you're going through a change. This change is bringing in justice. Someone is holding on to someone. Someone is not wanting to let go of someone. Also, someone could be trying to hold back some money from you. So say, for instance, I don't know. Someone could be trying to hold some money over your head. Like, oh, if you go, I'm I'm not giving you no money. <laughs> or I'm not doing this or doing that. Like, something like that. So that could be a situation, too, where you feel frustrated. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. I'm not supporting you. I'm not. Or I'm going to make it hard for you. Like, someone could be threatening you or something. But... You're abundant, okay? You got the Ten of Pentacles anyway, so you're going to receive what's yours anyway. So whoever this is that's trying to keep you in this lockbox, no. Let them know who who uh, who's in charge here, okay? You're the emperor. So, yeah. Enough said with that. All right. Spirit, let's see a message for Aries. 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 All right, Aries, they're saying positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going, okay? And let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So this also could be you berating yourself with this lockbox. Like you keeping yourself closed in and not um, allowing yourself to come out of this negativity, this negative environment. The negative envi environment could be your negative thoughts. Okay, so just make sure you... Um, you release that so you can receive all this positive energy that's trying to come through. You could be the blockage, okay? 
but I'm also getting someone else in your energy is blocked and trying to block you from it. So they could also, the whoever this energy is that's sending it your, your way, they could be trying to cause you to think negative and, um, or like, yeah. So if you're not directly speaking to them, they could just be sending energy your way, okay? It don't necessarily have to be someone you're physically um, encountered with. All right, but we're going to leave that there for you, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. Hey, Taurus. Let's see. Spirit, please show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. What is Taurus energy at this time? Taurus. What is Taurus energy at this time? Taurus. What is Taurus energy at this time? Please show us. Taurus. You have Archangel Michael protected, prevented from harm, divine intervention, Sagittarius. That just came out too fluently. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Show us more on this energy for Taurus. Show us more on this energy for Taurus. That was, I can't say weird, but it was just, show us a message. All right, recalling, reminiscing, memories returning. All right, so someone could be trying to return to you. Maybe it is a Sagittarius, but Sagittarius is just fly out my mouth like that. But you're being protected. They said Arch Archangel Michael is here protecting you, preventing you from harm, divine intervention. So maybe this is, maybe someone from the past is a Sagittarius. They're trying to return, okay? They're reminiscing. They're having memories of you. Um, or this could be you. And, and Archangel Michael is still protecting you from this person, however this is. Magnetic. Uh, unexplainable cool. Can't resist. Mm -hmm. All right, show us a message for uh, Taurus. Taurus, show us a message for Taurus. 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 Ten of Cups. Taurus. Devil in Reverse. Taurus. The King of Wands. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We got Capricorn energy. You're releasing the devil or releasing some type of toxic energy. That's why Archangel Michael had to come out. Like, look, we, I'm protecting you. All right, Justice. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Show us more on this energy. Or Taurus. You have the Two of Wands. Show us more for Taurus. So someone could be trying to fight you in the legal system or something. There's some type of legal case going on with the Seven of Swords, the Justice, and the King of Swords. Um, it's definitely some deceit, some lies. Maybe uh, someone could be trying to make you look bad in the legal system. But I feel like you're safe. You're safe here with Ar Archangel Michael here. King of Swords is really giving me Archangel Michael too. You got the Justice here in the upright. So, you know, you're receiving justice in whatever this situation is. It could be a family dy dynamic. You could have a child with this person. Um, you're releasing the devil. That's what I'm getting. You're releasing the devil. You're releasing the toxic energy. That's what this is. You're releasing the toxic energy. And your wishes is about to come in with the Nine of Cups here. Stick with your plan. Okay? You have a renewal coming in for you. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. But that's your main message here. Show us a message for Taurus. Yeah, so someone is trying to come against you. They could be trying to uh, uh, make you think of them fine. Like, I mean, make you think of them. Maybe they want you to think of them like they're fine. All right, but uh, it's like someone wants you to be fond of them. Fond is what I was trying to say, but fine wants to come out. But someone is wanting you to be like, you know, think positive thoughts of them. Like to remove all the negative thoughts or whatever so they can, you know, get their way or whatever. But no, uh-uh, uh, -uh. uh -uh. you're being protected by this. So this protection could be like, as soon as it comes to mind, you know, change that switch, you know, turn the switch off, change it. All right. Because uh, someone is trying to get you to like come back to them or you go or for them to come back to you. Something like that. It's like someone is trying to make a reappearance. Show us a message. But yeah, there is some type of legal case here. It looks like it's going to be. 
It's going to turn out in your favor. Things is going to work out. Show us a message here for Taurus. Wow. Detox your friendships. Exactly. Release this devil. <laughs> All right. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Yes. Yes. So you can have a legal case due to someone that is not healthy for you. You can have a legal case. You can have uh, interruptions financially. That's all due to your friendship. That's why they're saying detox your friendships or relationships, okay? Strong fire sign here or Capricorn. But I really get, or they could be on the cuffs. But whoever this is, they need to be removed from your life. You need to stop associating yourself with this person. You need to get more organized as well, Taurus. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much. Hey, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in for this message. Please take whatever resonates or leave whatever don't. Gemini, spirit, please show us a message. All right, Gemini, you have divine masculine. I could be speaking to the divine masculine or you could be dealing with the divine masculine. Show us more on this energy. We have a uh, hamster wheel, hustling, uh, surviving daily hustle. So someone could be an entrepreneur. You know, they're hustling. They're doing their thing to get this money. All right, we have happiness, wholeness, overjoy, smiling. Someone is Someone is smiling like, man, I'm doing it. Things is going well. Someone could be running and avoiding the situation due to someone that they took a risk with and caused some type of legal action. Yeah, I don't know. Something. Someone could be running and avoiding the situation with someone. Whether this is you or this person. Show us more on this energy for Gemini. 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 Thank you. Gemini spirit, please show us a message for Gemini. Ace of Swords. What else for Gemini? Page of Pentacles. And Gemini, show us more. The Hierophant in Reverse. And show us some more. Three of Cups in reverse. Ace of Wands. And one more for Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini. Someone could have a child with someone. This child could be like, I'm getting like a child could be like telling the other parent stuff about you or you telling the child to tell the parent about stuff. Something like that. It's just like the child is the messenger to the other parents. If someone could have split up, break up, divorce from with the higher fan in reverse. Um, I do feel like uh, there could be some good communication coming in about a financial offer or some type of money that could be coming in to you. Um, it do seem like you may need to disassociate yourself with certain friend groups, certain people with the Three of Cups here in reverse, because it does look like someone could be gossiping about you and your dating life or um, who you or your, your past dating life. However, it's like whoever these people are, they can be your friends. All right, but um, it's like someone could be saying like, oh, you know, you, you deal with a lot of people. You're sexually involved with a lot of people. Ace of Wands here. Three of Wands. I mean, Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they gossiping about your sex life. Someone could be saying like, oh, you're cheating. You're not dealing with your... You're not, you're not committed to your person. You're dealing with other lovers. Two of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups is like someone is like, oh, they pretending to be all happy. But it looks like you are happy. For those who are in a relationship, but it just seemed like you got some gossiping people that's saying your energy that's want to talk about you or your person. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, something um, 
you're not seeing eye to eye with someone. You're not giving them passion anymore. So they want to talk about you negatively. So this could be a past lover as well or a past lover of your person. Yeah, someone is toxic with the devil here. Someone could be a Capricorn, but I'm just getting someone is just toxic. And you need to walk away from it. Yes, Eight of Cups. And when you walk away from the situation, because all it is, is is competition. Like someone could be trying to compete with you, an ex-lover or a friend or a friend, however this is. Walk away from this friend group. All right? Walk away from these people, this ex-lover, because um, they're in competition with you. Ace of Pentacles. You have a, a fresh new star financially. You could begin a raise, a promotion, a new job, a new business. You hustling, you know? You're getting it. However you getting it. But it looked like in a positive way. But it's like someone just want to talk negatively on you because of the positivity that's coming out in this reading. Because you're happy. Yeah, someone want to talk. Someone want to talk and gossip about you because you're happy. That's what this is. Because you're showing up as the emperor and people are confused on how you getting it. Because you didn't fill them in on the tee like, uh, I'm doing this, I'm about to do that. And I'm about to, no, that's not how you move. That's not how you make good you don't you don't you don't make successful plans that way and especially with dealing with people like this they don't need to know everything you got going on but yeah so anywho i feel like i'm speaking strict strictly to a divine masculine because we got divine masculine here and we got the emperor here which is divine masculine and the upright so um this could be if i'm speaking to you uh uh if i'm speaking to the divine feminine it could definitely be um this could be about your divine masculine and it could be their friend group that they need to release or whatever. Um, for some of you, this could just be your divine masculine. If you're a divine feminine, this could be your divine masculine and your message. And this could be your friend group. You know your situation. You know what's going on. You already been paying attention. You've been seeing, you know, how people are moving funny with you or whatever. Then that's, that's your answer. All right. Or if you don't know, you need to pay attention more or something. But you got people talking, talking their mess. Talking, they man, because they jealous, that's all. Show us a message for Gemini. 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 All right, Gemini, you got to pay yourself first. Make yourself your, mer ugh, your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll save save i mean that you will have savings to invest in your present and in your future you have successful funding your idea is divinely guided and and supported by the same infinite wisdom of god that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to you so yeah some of you are entrepreneurs and you're doing you're, you, you're starting a business or you got a business or whatever they're saying. Partnerships is, is, is successful funding out there for you. But just make sure you pour into self first, too, before you pour into everyone else that got their hand out. <laughs> all right, Gemini, that's all I have for you. Until next time. All right. Let's move on to Cuba. Cancer. <laughs> Well, I was about to say Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. All right, Cancer. Spirit, please show us a message for Cancer. Cancer, what is the message for Cancer? Cancer, Spirit, please show us. Please show us a message for Cancer. Cancer. All right, quite a bit. I wanted to come out, Cancer. We have Love Affair. Entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings, and settlement, agreement, compromise, plug, tune in, internet, connected, racing, avoiding. Listen, someone is locked down, mental prison, confined, recalling, reminiscing, memories returning, wanting more. So I feel like for some of you, you could have either you had a love affair, you got someone pregnant, but this person plan was to have a pregnancy with you anyway. Um, so they can yeah have strings attached to you i don't know um for some of you this could have been you planning to do this with someone but yeah let's see more or this is what like someone could have could have uh lied about because the pregnancy entrapment could be like they lying about a pregnancy to get you to be with them as well with the love affair 
So it could have been a love affair and someone wanted you to be with him or something like that. Or vice versa. Wanted They wanted your person or you. However this go. <laughs> it's messy. But someone wanted this, okay? Because it wouldn't be here. If it's not your message, it's just not your message at this time. Show us a message for cancer. Cancer. Dang. Someone could have had... Someone could have... Mm, this could go so many different ways. But someone... A masculine, maybe you, cancer male, could be dealing with a female that was in a... Possibly or was having a love affair. Um, to be with you and they got pregnant by you. Okay. And they could be running, avoiding, trying to avoid you or avoid a situation. Or this could be the other. Let's get more. Because boy, oh boy. Show us more for cancer. Cancer. Cancer spirit. What is the message for cancer? We have death. So someone someone could have trapped someone with a pregnancy. I'm really getting for sure. Because with this entrapment, um, we got death, three of wands. So something ended. Someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. Show us more. We have a tower, strong Scorpio energy or Aries. Show us more on this energy for uh, cancer. Cancer. Some of y'all, you cancer man, this... Someone could have trapped you with a pregnancy to get you to settle and agree or have a relationship with them or something. Or this is what you did to someone. Mm. Show us more on this energy. Y'all, gotta be careful. Gotta to be more careful. Alright, the temperance and the empress. Yeah. So, it looks like for some of y'all, look, take it however it resonates. But it looks like the feminine, the empress is in a good standing here. So... A masculine could have been trying to trap this female with the pregnancy. Someone could be a Sagittarius. Someone's mother could have been in on this. Show us more. What is this about? Four of Wands. Like, yeah. Get a, like, go ahead. Get pregnant. Have a, Get married. I don't know. Someone sees someone as very abundant. Five of Swords. Someone is one. I want to fight. A Leo. Someone could be spying and seeing someone's happiness and wanting to cause a betrayal to someone's happiness. Because someone is seeing clear, get, gaining clarity about a situation now. What in the world do you got going on, Cancer? This is crazy. Show us more on this energy for Cancer. Show us more on death. Why is death here? Why is death here? Death here with the Ace of Pentacles. So, some ending is bringing in money, financial security. Wow. Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Someone thought, like, I don't know. Someone was trying to gain some money off of an ending of someone. So, it's more on a Three of Wands or Cancer. Three of Wands. Three of Wands clarified with the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Someone is wanting to plan... To have new love with someone at a distance. Show us more on the tower. The tower clarified with the lovers in reverse. Something unexpectedly is happening where it's causing someone to wake up and realize something. Someone could be releasing a lover. Possibly a Gemini. Show us more on the temperance. The temperance. The temperance clarified with the judgment. Someone is wanting to renew things, balance things out. Due to competition or placing someone in competition. Or that's what someone needs to do. Show us more with the Empress. The Empress turn. Okay. You got the lovers clarified with the two of wands in reverse. I mean, wait. Did I press the order? Yeah. Oh, no. They both came out at the same time. So someone could be releasing a lover. Um. To re and want to renew things with someone that they place them in place. Someone place someone in competition with someone. And someone is seeing that the Empress is more abundant or successful. Someone is wanting a union with this person, but... Mm.
someone may have this is giving me like chose the wrong baby mama or something chose the wrong like something like or chose the wrong lover yes ace of swords just came out spirit like yep that's what you're saying you're saying it that's right someone could have because we do have love affairs so someone had a love affair with someone thinking that it would be better it would be best but it's it ended up turning out phony wrong not something wrong here show us more Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm. So the truth is that this Empress don't want a passion new beginning. They don't want this. So if I'm speaking to a masculine uh, cancer, this feminine energy, this Empress don't want a passion new beginning or they're, they're no longer, they're losing passion for you. Or this is, or they lost passion with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Or for some of you, you lost passion for this person. I don't know. It just looked like two baby mamas here, two emperors, two. <laughs> or it could be um, baby mama and a wife, or uh, uh, this could be a mother and a baby mother. Like, there's too much going on here. But it looked like something. Someone could be gaining some truth here about, show us more, about someone's sex life, like who they've been dealing with. Someone is being forced to stop having sex, however that is. That can be done in several ways. Forced to stop having sex. Maybe someone end up catching something with the Ace of Wands here in reverse. Um, two of Swords. Someone had to stop having sex. Because um, someone was getting around too much with the Knight of Swords. Just fast, quick, fast, and hurry. <laughs> What's next? What's next? What's next? Like, <laughs> calm down. Calm, boy. Calm, calm down. But yeah, so I don't know. Uh, some of you, please. I just want to get out your reading. I'm just giving you the message. But this seemed like a, it's, it's a bunch of mess. It's definitely a love affair going on here, or has went on. But some truth and clarity have came out about it, or is coming out about it. All right. And someone may want to have a settlement agreement. Like, can we, you know, whatever, work things out, bring a balance. But I feel like someone tapped out. Someone blocked someone or top, tapped out. Someone is not interested or not wanting to bargain. Even if it's not about being together, it's just I don't want to have nothing to do with you. That's what it looked like. All right. So take it however it resonates. It just looked very messy here. So someone could be running and avoiding the situation because they just don't want to deal with this mess. So I get it, Cancer, if this is you. All right, let's get your... Let's get something else, Spirit. Show us something positive out of this. Shoot. Y'all done made my head hurt. Show us a message for Cancer. 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 All right, Cancer, we have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation ab abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Okay, and also from all this drama, whatever this mess is, That'll help you overcome this situation. Now, if you're the one causing this cancer, whew. Mm -hmm. But y'all, take it however it resonates for you. If it's not your message, look into the other zodiac signs in the comments because your message may be there. Look at the uh, the titles. Um, and also just look into next week. Next week, once I post next week, maybe your message will be there. I don't know. But until next time. Hey, Leo. Spirit, please show us a message for Leo. 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 All right, Leo. You have triggers, name, car, place. What else? Someone is triggered by you or you triggered by someone? Realization, awareness coming to light. What else for Leo? Leo. 
Leo. Leo. Show us one more for Leo. Leo. All right. We have pretending, fake, living beyond means, and we have nightlife. Gamble, take risks, Vegas. Someone could be partying a lot or drinking a lot or just taking too many risks. Someone could be pretending like everything is good, but everything is not good. Something ain't good. All right, let's get more on this energy. Show us a message for Leo. Leo. Leo, spirit, please show us a message. Leo, what is Leo message at this time? All right, two of cups. Leo, show us more for Leo. Knight of Swords, show us more for Leo. Judgment, Six of Wands, Leo. Three of Cups in reverse, and one more spirit. Seven of Cups. All right. Mm -hmm. Leo, Leo, Leo. This could be involving a partnership of some sort. Uh, definitely romantic, though. Uh, so whether you're in a relationship, a connection, or marriage, or whatever this is, okay? But it look like it's a connection. And um, something is happening fast. Maybe you're renewing things fast. You're coming back together fast. Or maybe you fix things too fast. But someone, I feel like, and it could actually be successful, but you may need to keep friends out your relationship. Because with the Three of Cups here in reverse and the Seven of Cups, this is really giving me like false friends that's all up in your business trying to, they could be causing some problems in your in your relationship, okay? And you may not even look at it like that, but yeah, that's what it's giving me. And um, especially after you, like you just got back together or you just, renewed your connection you got a, you, this is definitely a, a soulmate connection let me get more on the three of cups and reverse for leo three of cups we have scorpio someone could be dealing with a scorpio another leo gemini cancer show us um, more on this three of cups spirit Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Yeah, you may need to um, hold back from a friend group about your healing, like healing your connection, your relationship. Show us more on the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, clarify with the lovers. Now, for some of you, you know, if you're moving too quickly back into a relationship to heal things, I feel like someone still have options still have that door is still open you know with the lovers and the seven of cups so mm, this could be a situation where you move it too quickly into a situation or back into a situation where you overlook you know or make sure doors ain't open no more or something but it just seemed like you're running into a situation where you're gonna have to hold back again or put go on break again or something like that Show us more on the lovers. So I could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius we have here as well. Show us more on the lovers. The chariot in reverse. I want to be dealing with a Cancer. Hmm. There's some type of illusion due to a love situation. Something is stalled or... Um, Something isn't moving forward due to a lover, due to a Gemini, because someone got options. That's why. So if someone is not moving things forward or something, you could be coming to realization of why, because you put in one, one, I mean, you know, <laughs> more than one. you put in, you put in the pieces of the puzzles together. Like you're seeing something. 
it's like someone could be pretending to kick it again to come back together but it's something ain't right with this person this situation here yeah roller coaster highest adrenaline rush running avoiding uh talk uh, conversation get on the same page i don't know emotions coming and going that's what i feel with this energy so i would just say don't rush in like take your time because someone could be like coming in because with this pretending faking like that energy just in itself is saying that uh someone is not showing their true intentions or showing like you know because maybe they do want you it do look like it's it's love but at the same time, I feel like they want to have options. They want to keep the door open as well. So if you if that's not, if you okay with that, then hey. But in this reading, it don't look like you're okay with that. Now, um, yeah. I mean, you could be the one that's having options, right? And you keeping the door open. You need to be open and expressing this to this, this person. So y'all could be on the same page. Because someone is definitely juggling, Okay. But a connection could be stalled. Maybe you need to stall this. You need to put it on hold until you get um, the truth or until you, you know, until this person is ready to simmer this seven of cups down to one. Yeah, it looks like someone is an option. Maybe you're the main option or something. I mean, that don't make it better. I mean, but some people, they, oh, at least I'm the main one. Well, okay, if that's what you think. Okay. You think that's fine? You think that's cute? <laughs> no. Male or female? Like, look, y'all gonna have to get it together now. If you want, um, now, if you're open to that, if you're open to having more than one, you know, relationship, if you're open to that type of lifestyle, because there's many out here that is, then so be it. But speak your truth. Because someone, or they need to speak their truth. But you could be coming to realization about something like, oh, that's why, you know, in the past, that's why they did this or did that. Or when we came back together, I realized, like, yeah, a lot of realization could be coming in for you. Um, and you could be triggered, too, with a, a certain name, a car, or place that could be triggering this to make you come into realization. Show us a message for uh, Leo. All right, Leo, we have attracting, not chasing. Anything... Or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. All right. So that could be like, you know, if that's you, you know, if that's you and if you being real with yourself, because, you know, what, you learn it, you live and you learn. If certain things we go through life, you have to understand, okay, no, I can't do that. That's not for me. I, 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 uh -uh. Let me switch it up. So maybe you need to switch gears. Maybe it's someone that you truly love. They may truly love you. It do look like true love. It do look like a soulmate. But it's just they're not ready for you. Or vice versa. You're not ready for this person. But don't chase this person down to make them choose you to be or make you be the number one option. They have to make this choice, you know, upon them. So they have to figure this out. You can't force someone to do this. So that could be the message for you or this is for the message for the cross watcher. Please take it however it resonates, okay? But look into your other signs in the comments below. Look at the titles because you might find your message there. If this is not your message, and if it is, you may still find another message there. All right? And stay tuned till next week. All right, next is Virgo. I am tired, y'all. Did you? Yeah, we did Leo. So, Virgo. <sighs> Let's see. What's going on for my Virgos? Spirit, please show us a message for Virgo. 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 Virgo, Spirit, please show us a message for Virgo. Virgo. All right, Virgo. There's some anxiety. Someone is panicking, scared about something. Show us more on this energy for Virgo. Virgo. 
Retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. Someone want revenge? Show us more, Lord. These people in these revenge, they people gonna learn. You gonna learn today. <laughs> if you ain't learn, you gonna learn today. Don't retaliate. Just let the universe play out. Let that karma come back. Like if you retaliate, then you you just racking up karma. All right, we have focus. Eyes for you, fascinated watching. All right. Someone wants some payback. They're watching someone. But at the same time, someone is... So, right? so, I don't know. Either you're watching, you're fascinated by someone, or someone watching you and they're fascinated by, fascinated by you. But there's some retaliation here. Someone is wanting retaliation against someone else. So, I feel like two different energies here. This is not the same. So, someone could be fascinated with watching you, or you're fascinated with watching someone. But then there's another energy that's either wanting retaliation against you, or you're wanting retaliation against them. Take it however it resonates. Someone is having anxiety here. Possibly panicking due to what they're seeing. Someone could be looking at their phone. Someone could be, uh, yeah, something someone is seeing. Like what? All right, let's get more. There could be gossip about a love situation. Someone soulmate. Yeah, someone is petty and jealous and envious of someone's love situation as well. All right. Show us a message for Virgo. Um, For some of you, you're not even, if you're not in a connection, not dealing with someone, this person could just be jealous and petty and made they the thought of you being with someone else. It's like they want payback. They want to retaliate. <laughs> like before you even get into it. Like, hey, can I get out of this one first? <laughs> oh, all right. I don't know. That's funny for somebody, okay? <laughs> Show us a message for Virgo. 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 Thank you. All right, Virgo, let's see. Show us a message, Virgo. Eight of Swords in reverse. So you're free from something. Maybe you feel stuck. You feel stuck. Dang. I guess that feel free too. Like, <laughs> just drop down like that. Like, okay, I'm free. I'm free too. Someone could be being released from some type of bondage or um, like someone feels stuck in something. What is this? Show us more. Someone could be being released from jail. Show us more and someone wants some payback, some revenge. What? Show us more on this energy. Or someone know that someone... Um, mm, this could be... Show us, show us a message for Virgo. The devil. This could be spiritual jail, for sure. Like, I don't know. Someone could have been spiritually trying to do some spiritual bondage and binding work. Yeah. People going to keep playing with that if you want. It's okay. I don't know why people think this is a joke. People think it's a joke, y'all. Or some Virgos do. They think it's a joke until the joke is on them. Right? That's how it works. Like, dang, why did I do that? Yeah, why did you? Not a swords in reverse. Show us more on this energy for Virgo. Five of Swords. Mm, mm, mm. Show us more on this energy. I feel like it's a stalker here. This is not... I don't feel like this is good energy at all. King of Pentacles in reverse. What else for Virgo? Virgo. Virgo. Mm, mm, mm. Virgo. Show us more. Two of Wands. Someone is making plans here to hurt you, it seemed like. I don't know. Someone is someone is someone is wanting to fight. Someone is wanting to fight or hurt you or harm you in some sort of way. Because you're free. You're free from them. Some of you is a Capricorn you're dealing with, or you're wanting to hurt this Capricorn. We have Gemini energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Someone is upset because of financial matter. Someone could be losing a lot of money. Someone uh, someone could be living beyond their means as well. And they could be losing a lot of money because of karma. 
someone is receiving karma and someone is wanting to hurt you because of that or this is you you know where you at virgo we're not going there today okay you know where you at you on the good end or the the not good end because it's a good and a not good end of literally every zodiac sign so don't take your your anger out on me i'm just giving a message so you take the message or leave it like oh no nah, that's not my message this time so i'm gonna leave that there but if it is like okay i know what this is i know exactly what this is yes just take it into consideration let it help your situation that's what this is about but you guys this don't seem right this person is really on some get back all right Show us more on the Five of Swords. Mm, mm, mm. Someone really just got released from jail. Possibly really had to go to jail. Show us more on the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Someone, someone working for the devil. Because this energy definitely seemed like that. King of Pentacles in reverse on the devil with the five of swords. And a retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. Yeah, someone wants some major revenge here. They're planning it. Someone is making a plan to get some revenge on someone. Show us more on the five of swords. Five of swords. Five of swords clarify with the world. Because a fight ended, because of someone, someone petty drama ended. So someone is wanting revenge because of that. Like, no, it's not ended till I say it's in. Till I say it ended. What? No, it's ended. It's done. You want to play that route? Okay. It don't, it don't look like it's going to be a good outcome. All right. Show us more with the King of Pentacles in reverse for Virgo. King of Pentacles in reverse. Oof. There's a death. Death. To someone's finances stability we got the death here clarify with the um clarifying the king of pentacles in reverse mm, mm, mm. someone may want revenge on a scorpio mm, mm, mm. show us more on death someone money someone could be losing a lot of money but someone is protected someone can't someone is protected someone is being someone is blocked from someone someone can't get to someone show us more on the two of wands so for some of you you need to protect yourself if you're dealing with this masculine it could be a masculine scorpio a male scorpio we got the four of wands in reverse listen man y'all who you dealing with you got the four of wands in reverse your foundation is unhealthy it's not it is it's terrible. The four of wands in reverse. Who you living with? Whoever this is you living with, it's time to go. It's time to go. Someone need to plan an escape. That's what this is. Because whoever this is is watching and fascinated. I feel like they fascinated, but it's like obsession. And it's more of, I hate you. That type, like, I like everything that you do, even though if it look good, if it look good, I hate you and I want to destroy it. That's what this is. That's straight up evil. That's evil. Someone is evil. That's what this is. Someone is trying to block an ending, stop something from ending, but the fight is over. The world clarified with the Five of Swords. There's no more fight because all it's going to do is cause an ending. And if you know what I mean, a re another ending, another kind of ending. For some, that could be the case. It could be in the now. Y'all, 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 I don't know. 
this reading gave me a headache too. Another reading gave me a headache. But this reading really just gave me a headache. The energy. It's the energy. Let me pause so I can say it, Jimmy. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So, yeah. Your reading is crazy. Someone is definitely wanting to hurt you or cause some type of um, hurt towards you because... I feel like someone is panicking because they know it's over. They know the fight. They lost the fight or they feel like they lost the fight or there's nothing that they could do. Like it's, it's nothing else that they can do. Some of you, you could be married to this person with the uh, King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. They both in reverse. So if this is a marriage, it's definitely an unhealthy one. very unhealthy yeah so we're gonna leave that there it just looks like you need to uh stay on your ground protect your energy from whoever this is that you're residing with <laughs> That's what it looked like. You reside with this person. They could, they may want to argue with you see, every second. Like, you're like, what the heck? Ooh. I remember those days. And, ew. <laughs> I never, ever, ever going back. Y'all, I'm telling you. Show us a message for Virgo. Virgo, you have focus on priorities. Yes. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more conduit. I mean, why I say conduit? More confident. But, um... Your priorities could be getting out of this situation because this plan on finding another home possibly or releasing yourself from this union supposed to be because it just look it look real unhealthy. It look like it's time to pack up and ship. <laughs> like it's time to go. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, take whatever resonates. Leave whatever don't. And until next time. All right, Libra. Spirit, please show us a message for Libra. Libra. What is Libra message at this time? What is Libra message at this time? Libra. Someone could be thinking about money quite a bit. Someone could be thinking about getting a business off the ground. Um, or wanting to get ahead a lot quicker or trying to figure out why something is not moving quick enough. Um, you know, it's time is for everyone, so just keep that in mind, too. Don't feel like you're doing anything wrong. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, then you're good. You know, as far as you doing the work, you're doing the work, then it's going to grow. But if you're not, if you're slacking, you're doing a little bit here and a little bit there, then of course it's not going to continue to, you know, it's not going to continue to uh, grow. It's going to, it's going to be ups and downs. But even still, if you put your all into to a situation, I'm getting this for you, Libra. So this must be someone message. But even though you put your all into a situation, sometimes it may not grow as fast as someone else's. Why? Because it's just not your time. The time will be your time when the time is right. When the time is yours. Okay? But that don't mean give up. So just keep that in mind as well. Show us a message for uh, Libra. All right. Pressure cooker. Rage. Ready to explode. Oh, my goodness. All right. Show us more on this energy for Libra. Libra. We have realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Whoa, that's too much gonna come out. 
All right, we have triggers, name, car, place, poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people, cricket, silence, non-action going on. Someone is single, someone is moving, someone could be selling a home as well. Someone went silent on someone. And someone is being triggered by someone's name, car, place, something is going on. Let me see more. Show us a message for Libra. 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 Someone could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aries. Show us a message for Libra. Eight of Cups. Someone walked away. Or someone needs to walk away. Show us more with the Eight of Cups. Show us more on this energy for Libra. Libra. Something became a burden. Too heavy. Too much. Someone feel weighed down. Feel overwhelmed due to this change. Change in love. Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups. Show us more on this energy for Libra. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show us more. Three of Cups. All right, you guys. So I feel like someone is wanting to reunite with someone. Someone else. Someone, wait, someone may want a new beginning with you. Or this is you wanting a new beginning with someone. I'm really picking up like a masculine energy that's wanting to re, uh, wanting a new beginning with a feminine. Um, maybe because the feminine is looking good, doing good, something like that. Or this could be you, masculine Libra. Please take it however it resonates for your situation. But it do look like a reconciliation or a coming back together with someone. After walking away from something that was burdensome, that was stressing you out. Or um, I don't know, something... Something you can you just realize something one day, like something was poisonous, toxic. You was in a situation for too long or dealing with a situation for too long. Yeah. And someone, maybe someone is silent or a situation was silent for too long. This becoming a burden now. <sighs> someone like, no, nah, I need to open up the, the, the doors of communication. I don't like this silence. Let me see. I feel like show is more on the eight of cups. Eight of Cups for Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo with the strength at the, at the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups. Someone is walking. Someone is walking away, leaving away um, things that's no longer serving you. This could be an emotional attachment, but someone could be walking away from a child or walking away to start to have a new love opportunity with someone. Show us more. Mm. I don't know nobody just walking away from their child. Like what? But I mean, it happens too. Show us more on the uh, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands clarified with the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles. So something has become, has become a burden due to... Due to what you have found out. Due to what you came to realize. Something has become a burden. Because it's like, ah... I can't keep holding on to this information. I want to, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to go towards this person. Show us more on the wheel. Or this is how someone is feeling about you. Show us more on the wheel. The wheel is clarified with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone has changed and look hella good. <laughs> someone look good. Someone look, someone look, something changed significantly in someone. Show us more on the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups clarified with the Six of Wands. Someone is seeing someone is very successful. They could be seeing you as very successful. Someone is a business owner, a go-getter, someone who got it together. Show us tomorrow with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands clarified with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so this Ten of Wands, they not they don't have any burden. Someone could have lost weight too, quite a bit. 
and looking good feeling good show us more on the three of cups three of cups three of cups for uh libra six of swords so someone some type of celebration a celebration that could be coming up or show us more what is this three of cups and a six of swords Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Judgment. Someone want to renew things out there. They lied on your name or they they deceived you of some sort. They was they was deceptive. They did something or this is you. You did this to this person and you want to renew things with this person. Something like that is going on. It's crickets going on between you and you and someone. But it's like someone is wanting to make things different. The Empress, Nine of Swords. But someone's mother or baby mother could be stressing them out. Someone could be married. Or just in a commitment that they want to get out of. Someone, someone trying to flee, trying to run, okay? Um, and I feel like it, it may be the best choice because with this poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people, someone is in an unhealthy uh, relationship. Someone is desiring someone else. And that person could be you. Or you're desiring someone else outside of someone that you were involved with. Take it however it resonates. But the pressure is on. Someone is like, man, it's boiling. I got to I gotta make a move. I gotta do something. Someone is sad. Someone is regretting or feeling guilty about the past. It could be you, Libra, or about you, Libra. Because things change with you and you kicking them off the wheel. You're not dealing with them no more or something. Please take it however it resonates. It's two feminines here, one masculine. So someone is letting go of a feminine to come towards you or however this go. Whew. But I definitely like someone is walking away. Someone is wanting to renew things with someone. Okay. Let me give you an Oracle message. Show us a message for uh, Libra. Yeah. You may not even trust this person. You don't trust this person. Because you know about what they did. You know who they were dealing with or they were lying to you or, or they lied on you. Or they've been cheating and sneaking. And... However to see it, okay? For some of you, this is you. You need to let go of guilt, okay? Or this person do. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. And focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. All right, you guys. Um. That also makes sense to the message that I was picking up, um, that I was channeling in the beginning of your reading before the cards, um, due to like your finances and things like that. So they're saying to let go of guilt, let go of guilt in many different ways. For some of you, let go of guilt. Maybe you you uh, mishandled the right person for you, and that went wrong, and due to someone lies or cheating or something like that, or this is the other person, you know. Or this could be even you let go of guilt. Maybe you feel guilty for dealing with this person or, you know, being in a toxic relationship for so long or, you know, just dealing with someone like that. Like, how could I? Why did I? Well, you have to go through the, the, the lesson, you know. So that's all. But don't beat yourself up. Okay. All right. That's all I have for you at this time. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time. Hey, Scorpio. I just came back from a little break from Libra reading. But, y'all, I'm so tired. I'm tired. But I can do it. All right. There's nothing to it if you just do it.
do it, do it, yeah, do it. All right, um, Scorpio, <laughs> let's get into this message for you. Scorpio, sir, what is the message for Scorpio? Scorpio. One more, Scorpio. Scorpio spirit, what is it for Scorpio? All right, we have recalling, reminiscing, memories returning. We have closed in, trapped, frustrated. What else? So someone feels stuck, and they could be just reminiscing about you, or you feel stuck and just reminiscing. We have telepathic dreams and songs. So it's like someone is just stuck with memories of you. TikTok, deadline, time running out. Someone is running out of time. To get to you or this is how someone is feeling. Rescue others involved. Love affair. Someone could be dealing with another lover. And someone could be trying to keep someone trapped. Emotions coming and going. What the heck? Scorpio. What y'all got going on? Let's get into it. Show us a message for Scorpio. The tower wants to fall out, okay? So something about the tower. We're going to take it, spirit. Your energy, the tower, or uh, Aries energy. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. 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 Show us more on this energy. Whoa. Ten of Swords. That's the betrayal due to someone trying to keep someone stuck, trapped, locked, stop, stop. <laughs> All right. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Nine of Cups. What the heck? Scorpio. Show us more for Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Mm -mm. Scorpio. What else? Scorpio. Page of Cups in reverse. Mm -mm. Someone is acting foolishly. Someone is someone is acting foolishly. That's all I can say. Um, someone is acting very immature, childlike, because they're not getting their way or something. The Tower, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups in reverse, and the Star. Some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign, or someone could just be childish. They could be older than you, and they just childish, or this could be an Aquarius. Or, um, yeah, those are the main signs here. And uh, like I said, Aries and Scorpio, your energy is here. But there's some deceit, some lies, some betrayal going on due to a child. Mm -mm. Someone is greedy. So the, it's like however, whichever way they got to do, however they got to do it, they're going to do it in order to receive what they want out of this situation, Scorpio. Lord, show us more on the tower. The tower for Scorpio. Someone is down and dirt, like dirty, dirty, dirty. Eight of Wands, you're going to be receiving all type of messages. Maybe a Virgo want to message you or someone want to come out of hiding and tell you something. Show us more on the uh, tower. Dang, cards just keep flying out. Queen of Pentacles wanted to fly out. Some of you could be stable or you're about to become stable or you're, stable, you're just grounded at this time stay grounded that's what they're wanting you to do stay grounded with this betrayal and the seven of swords this deceit this trickery people trying to play on you <laughs> ah good luck show us a message with the tower for scorpio scorpio clarify this tower this tower why is this tower here why do these cars want to fly damn all right, the tower clarified with the sh the chariot in reverse, and it flew out. So something could be something, mm, so something could crash and burn. Like with this chariot here, like someone could be rushing 
trying to hurry up and do something. Some, something is ending here. Show us more with this chariot. Something um is blowing up in someone's face. Show us more with the no. Let's see more on the ten of swords. The ten of swords for Scorpio. Why is this ten of swords here? Ten of swords is clarified with the ace of wands. So betrayal due to someone's passion in the beginning. Someone could be someone feel betrayed because of mm, someone may got the net a nasty disease that they can't get rid of. Show us more on a nine of cups. Nine of cups. Nine of cups clarify with the six of wands and a death. So Scorpio, you happy. You happy, you're successful, like things is going well for you. Someone feel betrayed because of your passion in the beginning. Mm. Cause your wishes is being granted. Show us more on the seven of swords. When you do right, you get right. When you do wrong, expect wrong. Show us more on the seven of swords. Seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords. Please flip it, reverse it if you need to. Cause like I say to every sign, it's good and it's not good in every sign. So there's some Scorpios that could be the ones that's on the bad side. All right, so um, some truth could be coming out about some deception, some deceit, some betrayal. So you're about to receive some clarity where you have. Could be about a child or about something that someone was doing that was very childish. Someone could be getting locked up for this too. Show us more on the page of cups in reverse. Page of cups in reverse clarified with the king of wands. Someone could have been working together with a king of wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, to betray you to deceive you, to take something from you. Um, mm, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, such a serious. Or this, um, someone could be, someone could be lying about a child. Show us more on the star. The star. I just feel like someone is just being childish here. The star is clarified with the eight of pentacles in reverse and the three of wands in reverse. So someone was trying to um, manifest Something to work, but it's not working. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone was had negative, evil intentions. Like <laughs> someone had ill will against you. That's what this is. Some of you, it could be a Virgo, or a Virgo is finding some things out. Something is coming to realization. Um, with the Tower and the Sun and a Hermit. Maybe about a commitment or about what was done in commitment. Hmm. Uh, show us more on the, let's get more on the tower and the chariot in reverse. The tower and the chariot. Seven of wands. You're protected from this energy. Yeah. You may, yeah, something, someone is protected here. You're protecting yourself or you need to protect yourself. Something is stalled. Something is stopped. Something is slowed down. Something is stalled because of. Your protection. And there's nothing that they can do about it. And if they continue to try, they're just going to hurt themselves. Show us more. Show us more on this King of Wands and a Page of Cups. King of Wands and a Page of Cups, Ten of Wands. It's becoming a burden. Someone wanted control, complete control, but it's become a burden to gain this control over someone. A group, a group of people. It could be a fire sign included with this group or um, a water sign. Mm -hmm. They could have been working together with family, friends, or a group. However that group is, but someone was working together to sabotage you. Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So I just feel like, um, I feel like due to you standing your ground, holding your ground, like you wasn't backing down from this situation. You're about to receive your nine of cups. You're about to receive your wish fulfillment. And it looked like the devil is being hung up. Someone someone could have um, tried to sacrifice you to end you. I feel like that came out in another reading as well. Too. Show us more on this hangman. We have Pisces and Capricorn energy here as well. 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a family situation. Yeah. Yeah. The whole family is going down. They shouldn't have messed with you, Scorpio. They didn't know who they was messing with. They're bad. You know, that's all. They just didn't know. Well, now they know. You know, we go through life and we go through lessons. So now they know. Dang, my bad you ain't know. You know? But hey, you know now, right? Right. Right. They know now. Not a not a one, seven of wands, five of swords. Like I said, you're protected from any uh any any type of whoever this betrayal is coming from, these people, okay? You're protected from it. You're protected from it. Cause they were committed to win. They were so committed to win. They they, they was ooh, they was committed to win. But to you, it wasn't a game. To them, it was a game. To you, you say, okay, hmm, this is my life. And you wanna you wanna hurt me? You wanna destroy me? You wanna cause problems to me? Okay. All right. Hey team. <laughs> hey spirit guys. Hey, my ancestors. They don't play with me. That one Scorpio, like, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. It's not a game. It never was a game. You don't play like that. Someone was playing with you. They just didn't know you. They didn't know that you had it in you. They didn't know that you had this strength. That's what it is. They didn't know that you had this strength. They didn't know that you was this protected. Ew. It said reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Yeah, reverse on that. Yeah. They didn't know you was protected. That's all. Um... Or Scorpio, you ain't know they was protected. You know, you got to have it, it is. But most of you, I'm speaking too. They didn't know. They didn't know. And like I said, you live and you learn. You go through life. You go through lessons. Hopefully you learn from it so you can, you know, start a new lesson in life. <laughs> Don't keep repeating cycles because the spirit going to get tired. And they're going to just wipe it out. All right, let's get um, an oracle message for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, let's get an oracle. Yeah, so with this TikTok, though, time running out. Let me get one more. TikTok deadline time running out. What is this? Show us more on the TikTok deadline. What's this deadline about? Someone running out of time. Whoa. To either get to you or to. To come out of the cold with you. Oh, so someone about to be frozen from you. If they don't get it right now. Someone will have a chance to have a passion new beginning with you. So this is side note, Scorpio. Side note. If some, someone have a chance to be with you. Okay. Or you have a chance to be with this Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Feminine energy. Someone could be very intuitive like it but um someone have a, a deadline like to make things right or come together with this person but yeah that's what they're saying someone someone have a deadline like time is running out for something to happen to make something happen to so that's pertaining to a lover or love situation or something it's like, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Show us a message for Scorpio. 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 All right, Scorpio. It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world absolutely ah. that is awesome all right scorpio that is all i have for you at this time take whatever resonate leave whatever don't and until next time many peace all right sagittarius let's get into it what's going on for you sagittarius sagittarius 
Sagittarius. 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 Show us more on this energy for Sagittarius. I mean, I say show us more. Yep. Winding down. Getting sleepy, y'all. All right. Uh, let's get three cards for Sagittarius Spirit. Sagittarius. Divine Feminine, Roller Coaster, Highest Adrenaline Rush, and Ascension, Spiritual Awakening. All right, someone could be awakened or awakening to who their Divine Feminine is. So you could be their Divine Feminine. Someone is wanting a commitment, long-term relationship. Yeah, someone is waking up to who you are to them. Or you're waking up to who someone is to you. Show us a message for Sagittarius. 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 Some of you, you could be married to this person or you want to or you see this person as marriage material or this is how they see you. Show us a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the two of wands. Okay, and show us more for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the Knight of Wands, okay. Sagittarius, show us more on this energy for Sagittarius. Knight, Knight of Swords wanted to come out, so yeah. Someone want to hurry up. If they got to do something, they got to get something done first. They're trying to do something before they can make this move. Okay. Show us more on this energy for Sagittarius. Dang. Hold on. All right. We had a flyer. All right, what else, Spirit, for Sagittarius? So we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Strength. And what else for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. And we have the Four of Cups in reverse. All right. Someone is making plans here. It looked like it. It's like, nope, I got stuff going. All right, so someone is um staying committed to this plan, too. Someone may have to move or there's someone could be going to make them move in or letting go of a selling a home or letting go of a home or letting go of a union, a marriage or some sort because they see who their person or who they want to be with, something like that. Someone is wanting to give someone a ring, an offer, a marriage, a proposal or a commitment of some sort. It don't necessarily have to be marriage. It could just be a commitment of some sort, confirmation. Um, someone is trying to gain their strength to do this before they miss the opportunity. It looks like someone... Yeah, you, you may. Yeah, I don't know. Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, the Devil. Oh, Lord. Someone could be dealing with someone that could be holding them back from their wish fulfillment in love. It could be a Gemini, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, or Cancer. Mm. Someone could be getting away of their love, of the of their divine feminine, or their divine being, their divine person that they're supposed to be with or want to be with. Yeah. Or, I mean, that you want to be with. Look, take it however it resonates for you in your situation. But let's get more. Show us more on this energy for Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius. Let's get more on the uh, four of wands in reverse. Four of wands in reverse. Someone could be splitting or breaking up, divorcing or some sort to come into union with their divine person. Yeah, someone is realizing they was in a toxic situation. Someone made plans with a toxic person. Maybe they they felt like this was right at that time. Someone could be a Capricorn. I have Capricorn placements. Some of you, you could be on the cuffs, Capricorn, Sagittarius as well. But um, someone is obsessed with this plan of coming out of this union with someone to go towards their divine person, which could be you or the other person, whatever, okay? Show us more on the page of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles, clarify with the two of wands. You planning, baby. You planning. All right. It's a lot of planning here. Or they planning. They planning for you. Planning to come towards you. Show us more with strength. 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 For Sagittarius, strength. It's clarified with the high priestess. Someone could be very strong. Someone could be strong intuitively. Someone could be um, a high priestess. Someone could be very intuitive. Very, uh, and they may keep their moves silent. They just make moves. <laughs> I just make moves, baby. <laughs> All right, show us more on the four of cups in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. 
Some of you is dealing with a Leo or a Pisces or a Scorpio or Aries or Leo again. Someone is like, no, nah, I got to go. All right. Someone is gaining clarity. Like, it's that aha moment. Like, someone just woke up. Boom. It hit me. I know who my divine feminine is or I know who my divine masculine is. Take it however it resonates. Someone is going through an ascension and they're waking up to who they're supposed to be with and who they need to release themselves from. That's what this whole message is about. Yeah, they need to release themselves from some trickery, some deceptions, a deceitful situation, a union, okay? And this is going to bring someone justice. This justice is going to bring the Nine of Cups happiness, fulfillment, a fulfillment in love. Love and happiness. All right, y'all. Let me get an oracle message for Sagittarius. Show us a message for Sagittarius. 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 All right. Attracting, not chasing. Anything and anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears of underlying chasing energy instead attract what you need by sending out love gratitude and welcoming energy so for some of you if you're trying to you know you when you're chasing say for instance okay chasing and going towards and approaching someone is totally different so if you're chasing chasing is like you know you constantly trying to get this person you're constantly trying to get this person attention and this person is like maybe they 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 maybe they respond back but it's not much action given or whatever but you constantly, constantly on them. That's chasing, okay? That's a form of chasing. But if you are wanting to get this person attention, like, hey, I'm attracted to you. I would like to date you or let's just see where it go or whatever. And this person say, yes, you. that's not you chasing. You're just going, you're, you're going towards what you're attracted to. But um, yeah, for some, they're saying like, maybe someone is like, I got to get it. I don't care. I don't care. They they turn me down once. They turn me down twice. They turn me down three times, four times, five times. I'm still going. No, no, you try. You could try again. But like after so many times, it's like, that's why they're like, nope, you would try not chase. All right. But that's what I have. And this could be the, for the person that is trying to get you or they realizing who you are. You know, a divine being, a divine feminine, divine masculine. You're sit, you're sitting very high because you have grown, ascend, you ascended, you know, spiritually, and just due to that, that's why you know you you're you're gonna be the one that's attracting. You're gonna attract, and what? All right. So I'm guided to read this for you. So ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. All right, Sagittarius, that is all I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed this message or received some type of clarity, okay? If this was at all your message, definitely comment below. Uh, thumbs up. And if it was not your message, I totally understand. Every week won't be your message, or sometimes I do. Um, but if not, look into the other signs, the, the zodiac messages, the titles, you may find a message there. Um, or just wait till next week. Okay. All right. Until next time. All right, Capricorn. Hey. Hey, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you this week. Show us a message for Capricorn. Please show us a message for Capricorn. 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 All right, Capricorn. We have Bonnie Hunter, Chaser, Hot Pursuit. So someone is on a chase to get what they want. You have receipts, proof, show me, and karma. <sighs> third party relationship lesson we have lockdown mental prison confined what is going on 
show us a message for uh, Capricorn. The tower wanted to fly out. Uh, the tower wants to fly out and Scorpio too as the first card. So some of you could be dealing with Scorpio or Aries energy. Um, show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. So something unexpectedly could be about to happen. Or maybe you was blown away by something. You're like, uh-uh, I need proof. I need, show me. Or something like that. Or someone is trying to gather some information on you. That's why someone is uh, on a hunt. Whoever this karmic third party or whoever this karmic is. Show us a message on this energy for Capricorn. 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 Uh, we have the Fool. Capricorn. We have the Six of Pentacles. Capricorn. Show us more. Three of Cups. So it definitely could be a third party situation here. We have the Lovers. Yeah, third party situation. Queen of Swords in reverse. All right. Mm. Someone needs to look at something like clearly. Like someone, someone could be, maybe someone was in fantasy world thinking like this is not. It can't be. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. But it is that. <laughs> so some receipts or some proof is is proven that, or it's like someone was. I want to say like, either not purposely overlooking a situation, but just in fantasy world. Like, something like that. Like, didn't want to believe it. Like, so I'm just going to psych my mind out. Something like that. But the tower is hidden. So this tower is, is bringing in some clarity here. It's bringing in some unexpected news or something. Let's get more on this tower spirit. Clarify this tower. Someone could have been breadcrumbing you. Someone could be dealing with a Gemini. Someone also may feel like you could be cold or distant or like. I'm getting B I T C H. <laughs> Why? Like for some, that's how someone feel about someone. Like someone is like, or they feel like, uh, like when they get, because they they may feel like they got on your bad side or something. You really cold towards them, and you really cold cutthroat. That's what I'm getting like. Real cold and cold through with them. <clears throat> Someone have another lover. That's why. Show us more on the tower. The tower. Clarify the tower. The tower clarified with the fool in reverse. Aquarius energy. Always look at the fool kind of like Taurus. I mean, not Taurus. Um, maybe it's a Taurus. But Aries energy as well. The tower is Scorpio and Aries. But the fool is technically it's Aquarius. Show us more on the fool in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Something unexpectedly happened because someone was foolish and now they want to return. Show us more on the fool. So we got the fool here twice. One in the upright and one in reverse. Clarify the fool. Why is the fool here? The fool is clarified with the Queen of Swords and the upright. The judgment and the eight of pentacles. So someone is wanting to take a risk with you, talk things out, work things out, renew things with you. This could be even shocking to you, like what? After the receipts that I found, after what I know, or you really want to work this out? How? Why? You really think this will work after what you did to me? I don't know. That's how someone feels. Whether you or them. Male or female Capricorn, take it however they resonate, you guys. Let's see more on this Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles for Capricorn. Six of Pentacles clarified with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse, though. Um, someone was breadcrumbing, uh, like giving you bits and pieces, and they had another situation, or you know, have a, or they was dealing with you, and they was breadcrumbing other. Have it's still breadcrumb, like they was. Dealing with multiple people, two or more. 
and they want to reunite <laughs> but it look like you you're cold with them show us more on the three of cups three of cups three of cups three of cups clarify with the ace of swords in reverse the seven of wands in reverse Whoever this is, they're coming in with straight lies, okay? Ace of Swords in reverse with the Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. They want to reunite just to tell you lies. They want you to set the... They feel like this will let your guard down, bring your, your guard down with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they want you to let your guards down. So if I got to lie to you, I'm going to tell you what, whatever you want to hear. So you can put your sword down so you don't have to be so cold towards me and cut my throat. <laughs> Like, that's how someone feel. Like, they feel like they're going to have to be, they're going to have to lie to you. This person just a liar, period, though. That's why they do what they do. They, I mean, they're just a liar. But not. that's not why they do what they do. They do this because people allow this person to get away with. But I feel like you are their judgment. <laughs> You're bringing judgment. That's why they're in the lockdown, the mental prison. I mean, mental prison, confined. They're feeling, look at them. They feel so frustrated, like, oh, my gosh. Because they're not used to having someone just cut them off or be cold and harsh with them. So, show us more on the lovers. The lovers clarify with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But with this Queen of Wands in reverse, whoever this is, whoever this is they play too many games. They play... They play on each other or or not on each other. They play you and play. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like for some of you, like both, it could be two feminines here that's had it up to here. Like they, someone is like, no, I'm good. I'm good too. Show us more on the Queen of Swords, Lord. Queen of Swords in reverse. Clarify with the page of swords. Yeah, someone is not playing games. Someone got all the receipts. Someone like, nah, I know you a liar. All the receipts could be just you know that they're a liar because things not adding up. For some of you, it's actual receipts. You're like, man, I got proof. You you did or said or did whatever. Like, like I said to um, like I said before. Um if you got to do that, if you got to do all that, that's your proof right there. Like, you shouldn't even have to bring this up to them. Like, they know what they're doing. So, I mean, I would just walk away, leave the situation all, like, leave it behind. But someone know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. So, you, you, your proof is for you, not to prove it to them that you got proof. Okay. Show us more on the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Hierophant. Mm. The Hierophant. The Tower. There was one more on the Tower. Someone definitely could be, um, someone could be, like, a part of some type of organization or some type of, mm -hmm. I'm really getting, like, dark group, like, or just going to see someone, a, a dark priest to blow some stuff up with you and a, and a person, another person. But I feel like it's going to blow up anyway because it's just it's just all messed up. Yeah, like I said, it's going to blow up anyway. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, both lovers are going to walk away. You and the other person. Or if, you, if you're the masculine, I mean, it could be... It could be a feminine and it's too masculine. But I'm seeing two feminines here. So take it however it resonates. Someone could be in the same sex. I'm not really much getting that right now. But, you know, you could be. But for most, I'm getting like there's two feminine energies. Someone could be married too with the higher fan here. And the queen of pentacles. Yeah, that's marriage. Or someone, maybe you divorced or you came, you coming out. You're divorcing this person. I'm not really getting a, a divorce here. So, mm, someone could be dealing with a Taurus. Someone is, someone is a dark witch. I'm just getting that. I'm getting that with this higher fan, a dark. Uh, I mean, a dark witch. <laughs> the higher fan and a, uh, the Queen of Wands in reverse. That's really giving me that energy. 
someone could have or could have been seeing someone to try to um, cast some spells or cause some type of blow ups in your life, some tower moments in your life. So things can go. So if they, someone just wanted things to be wow for you. So you can't have happiness elsewhere or something. But you have a new opportunity, a new financial opportunity, a financial. So some of you, if someone was trying to get in the way of your money too, you got blessings coming in. You got a new financial opportunity coming in. Someone was trying to take your money, stop your money, that's coming in. And it's coming quick too. So it could be sometime this week or next week or this could be some type of change in your finances, some type of way. And it looked like it could be a turn, like the table's turning, like someone else's finances could be depleted and yours is gaining. Someone may have to give out to you. But this whole message is really based on third party situation where someone uh, was trying to play the field. And I feel like two feminines is tired of it, but one of them want to have this person have pain and suffering. <laughs> so take it however it resonates. One of these females is evil. I'm going to just say that. And the other female is just cold. So place you wherever you are at. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. But this cycle is closing out. So either you're putting a stop to it. They putting a stop to it. Or this is the universe putting a stop to it. Show us a message for Capricorn. All right, we have abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance, <laughs> what? If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. And then you also have clean energy food. Um. When you fill your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and higher vibration, uh -huh. which attracts, attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Yeah, because this one ain't it. <laughs> all right, you guys, that's all I have for you at this time. Capricorn, please take it or leave it. Um, until next time. All right, hey Aquarius, let's get into it. Um, oh, wait, yes, Aquarius. <laughs> I the thing like, wait, I'm almost done. Yes. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you. Oh wait, I forgot your title. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Spirit, please give us a message for Aquarius. Is it spirit? Please show us. All right. Unquenchable wanting more. Show us more for Aquarius. Someone want more. Someone want to talk. Someone is wanting to have a conversation. Get on the same page. Okay, how can we work this out? Show us more for Aquarius. 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 Someone is like today. I want to I want to talk. I want to get on the same page. Can we do this today? I want to work things out today. Someone is triggered by someone's name, car, place, um, cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Someone need to remove negativity from their energies, from their energies, from their energy. <laughs> Let's get more for Aquarius. Aquarius. Of course, some of you need to cleanse your car. Like, save your car out, too. Maybe just getting in and out. Think about you going in the stores, out the stores, getting in. You get in your car with all the different energies you put attracting to your car. That's not what's up. Also, you know, you having people get in your car, out your car. Yeah. 
You better cleanse that. Show us a message for Aquarius. Look, I'll tell no lies, okay? You better cleanse that. Cleanse it, okay? Show us a message for Aquarius. Aquarius, two of cups. Someone is wanting to reconcile. Want to come back together. I seen it, but it can't. It went right back. So maybe someone is wanting to reconcile, come back together, but someone is not. It's like someone is, is someone is not on the same page. Show us a message for the emperor. We have the, the divine masculine here, or someone is wanting to step up. Show us more on this emperor for Aquarius. Someone could be dealing with the uh, I can say Aquarius. Some of you, some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius, but some of you could be dealing with an Aries. We have uh, the two of swords with Libra placement. Someone could have a Libra placement. Someone could have Libra moon as well. Show us more on this energy for Aquarius. Dang, cards flying out. Aquarius. One more for Aquarius. Someone views someone very childish or something. Like someone is like, mm. I feel like someone is focused. Focused on you or you focus on this person. But it's blocked communication. There's no communication here. Someone's wanting to talk. Someone's send, sending a message or someone's wanting to send someone a message to come together through your cups. To make plans to come together. Three of Wands, Three of Cups. Ace of Wands. Someone got a lot of passion for someone. Someone is addicted. It's like addicted. Some obsession here. Someone is obsessed with someone or what? And someone is obsessed with you. Or you're obsessed with someone. King of Swords, your energy here. Hmm. Let me get more on this. Show us more on this Emperor for... Uh, you could have two masculines here. One could be a husband or your divine counterpart, or the other one may not. If you're masculine, if you're the male, you could be the divine masculine here. And it could be another masculine that's wanting your divine feminine. Like, take it however it resonates. But let's get more. Some of you could be in the same sex. Show us more on this energy with the emperor. Clarify the emperor. Clarify the emperor. Someone is wanting more of you, though. Show us more on the emperor or, or vice versa. Take it however it resonates. The emperor clarified with the fool. Um, I do look at the fool as, as Aries energy too, but it's technically uh, Aquarius. So that's your energy. So you could be the divine masculine or like I said, you're dealing with the divine masculine. Um, but it's two masculines and it's, and it's reading and they definitely two different people. This is not the same energy. Show us more on the two of swords. Two of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is clarified with a tower. It could be a shocking, a, a unexpected disconnect. No communication happening between you and someone. Show us more on the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles clarified with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone is sending an offer, sending a message, but it's, it's someone feel rejected. It's like something... Someone is not getting what they want out of the situation. Someone is not fulfilled here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Show us more on the Six of Wands. Six of Wands for Aquarius. Three of Swords in reverse. Someone is happy. They're fine. They're okay. They're they're successful. They're um, they're coming out of heartbreak or you have healed from some heartbreak. But this person did. Someone is seeing this. Someone is seeing some recognition. Some some type of um healing in someone or something so what okay show us more on the page of wands so i feel like due to the non-communication someone is watching and wanting to talk show us more on the king of swords so with the page of wands is clarifying with the magician someone is manifesting communication manifesting you to reach out or to respond or talk to them um the king of swords is clarified with the temperance it's like someone is wanting to talk to bring balance peace into a connection or between you and them. Temperance. Clarify the temperance. The King of Swords. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could be a Sagittarius masculine or someone with Sagittarius placements. 
lovers. Someone is in love with you. Justice. Yeah, like I said, someone is wanting to balance things out, make things right with you. Someone also may want to marry you. This could be what they share with you, or this is what you want. You may want to share this with someone. It's a source. Yes. This is what someone want to communicate. Look, let's just go get married. I know it's you. I know you're my person. I know this is it. Let's do this. <laughs> like, we could just go to courts, go to the courts. I don't care. Whatever you want. You want a big wedding? Okay, we could do that too. But I, I just know you're my person, so let's just make it happen. So someone is wanting to make it happen. Someone is like, man, this is, I know I'm in love with you. I know you're my person. But if someone else is, is, is someone else is wanting communication, like maybe this is the person that's wanting communication. They want to communicate with you to tell you this, to, to tell you how they feel, to tell you that it's real. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Well, let's see more on this emperor then, because this is a whole nother energy here. Show us more on the emperor. The emperor. The emperor clarify with the eight of swords. Eight of swords. So this emperor is full of stuck. They want to take a leap of faith, free themselves. We show us more. Some of you, you could be marrying someone who want to escape. Get the hell out. Some of you could be married. You want to go. Okay. You want to leave this situation or this person do. Your divine masculine do. I don't know. I mean, it may not be your divine masculine because some of you, this is. I did see divine masculine too. So, one of these is, but someone is wanting to communicate to you how they really feel. Want to bring balance into this situation and tell you, look, I'm actually in love with you and let's just get married. Or I just want a commitment with you because I know you're the one. However, this is. But there's another energy here that's wanting to free themselves. Now, for some, this could be the same energy. This could. This could because this energy may be trying to free themselves from another connection to come towards you. But they feel stuck. They feel stuck. Someone could be binded to something. So it's more. It could be a contract. Could be a form of marriage. Change. The will of fortune. Yeah. So it could be a third party. Could be a third party that someone had to release themselves from. In order to come towards you, the high priestess with the uh ten of ten of wands. Someone, this is someone is doing this in secret. They they could be hiding this from you. This is this is a burden. This has become a burden, but they're releasing. They want to release these burdens by talking to you and expressing to you how they feel and what was really going on. So they could have been holding back a lot of communication from you, but now they wanna they wanna talk now. They wanna talk now. King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Oh, they wanna talk now. Now that you're not talking or something, yeah, they want to speed things up. Now the ones, they're committed to coming towards you because it's a lot of passion. They got a lot of passion for you. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want the happily ever after, okay? You got the Ten of Swords. I mean, ten. no, we don't want to claim the Ten of Swords in this reading. It looked too good. It don't look bad. It, it looked good, more good than bad for sure. It's no bad. It's no bad. It just looked like lack of communication here. And someone is wanting to uh, wanting to talk, wanting to reunite with you, come back towards you. Yeah, someone could be at a distance. Someone could live like 30 minutes to an hour to three hours away, something like that. Um, or someone could live, shoot, states away. Someone may have to get on a train, a bus, a plane. But yeah, that's the overall message here. Someone could be triggered by your name because they're not, you're not communicating with them. That's what it is. It's like you're not communicating and this is bothering them. Like, why don't you talk to me? Yeah, someone is, someone is feeling some type of way. Whether you are or they are. But someone need to cleanse their energy from whoever they're dealing with. Maybe that is also the case. Like in order for them to come in towards you. They have to clear away or close out a cycle with someone else. I'm tired of hearing these messages like that. This is just annoying. But yeah. <laughs> um, Aquarius. Take it how they resonate for you. But it do look like someone is wanting to voice themselves. Wanting to tell you exactly how they feel. And they may be telling you, hey, let's just get married. 
I just want to get married. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. They don't even care. They like, man, you ain't even got to have a white dress. I don't care what you got on. We will wake up. In the morning with stank breath and let's just go to the let's just go get married <laughs> like dang this person ain't playing about you um let's get a oracle message Here, please show us a message for uh aquarius I'm so glad i'm almost done Aquarius, what is it, Spirit? Please show us a message for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, we have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels, and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising. And it becomes its own reward. All right. So get to it, Aquarius. That's all I have for you at this time. Please take whatever resonates. Leave whatever don't. Look into the comments um, of this video and look into your other signs or look into the, the topics, the titles of each sign. See which resonate with you. Check that message out because you might have a message there. Or just stay tuned till next or stay tuned for next week. And maybe next week will be your message. But until next time. All right, Pisces. Let's jump into it. All right, Pisces. What is it? Sure, please show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, Spirit, please show us. All right. On the table, offer proposal commitment. Show us more for Pisces. We have grip, anchor, chains, way down. Pisces, show us more. Someone could feel way down possibly due to something they committed themselves to. Whether this is a connection, a relationship, or a, partner, a partnership of some sort. This could be business. This don't necessarily have to be love. We have family, blood ties, inner circle, interlude, cause, time and factor, cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. I don't know. Maybe this is something you thought that it would make you happy. Like, oh, I have to have family with you or whatever. But someone is feeling weighed down here for whatever reason. But this could be your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Or you could be the divine masculine here. But let's see more. Let's see more. What are they talking about? Show us more on this energy for Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, Spirit. Please show us a message for Pisces. All right, Pisces. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So someone may be like, man, I want to be single. <laughs> What? Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords. Someone is wanting to be single or wanting to, like, I mean, that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. It's like the truth is, but I'm not, maybe you're not saying the truth, but you, this this could be the, what's about to be put on the table. Like, look, how about, you know, we just be single from each other or something? <laughs> what? Some of you could be dealing with an air sign or a Virgo. Let's get more. So it could be, yeah, it could be an air sign or a Virgo. A Libra in particular. So it could be a Libra or a Virgo. Or someone could be on a cuff. Show us more on this energy for Pisces. Pisces, Nine of Swords. Someone is stressing. What is they're reading? What? Show us more for Pisces. Six of Wands. Pisces, Four of Wands, Pisces, Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords at the bottom of the day. Someone has become impatient. Oh, maybe for some, 
someone is ready for a family like let's make the let's just go let's make this official okay put it on the table how you feel how i feel someone is single or this you may be in a relationship but single you know you know okay you're not married so you're single technically so but uh someone is like let's make this official like um someone someone could be becoming impatient like they're ready for the ring they're ready for this ten of cups they're ready for this ten of pentacles like let's make let's 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 grow our family let's you know let's because maybe you move together or something was successful due to a home situation um yeah someone may want to marry you i don't know if someone is telling you this or you telling them someone could be hiding this or something uh let's get more because i'm getting like a ring is about to be offered or some form of proposal or if you're not if the, okay you could be the male pet pisces that's wanting to give a ring to this person you want this person to be your wife or your, your husband however your situation is but then but you could be like wrecking your brain stressing like man are we is this is this it or what like what's going on what are we gonna do and this person possibly got you thinking this way because they got a plan. Like, they're trying to figure out. Okay. Show us more on the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, this ain't your message. Okay. Show us the message on the Nine of Pentacles. Strong Virgo energy here. We also have Scorpio, Aries, Leo. So, and Aquarius energy as well. Nine of Pentacles, Spirit. Show us more on the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, clarify with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, let's work things out. Let's work as a team. Let's work together. Let's collab together. Show us more on the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. The world. To make this complete. Yeah, someone want to complete this. Like, let's make this complete. Show us more on the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. The sun. Someone is stressing because it's like, you. I make you happy. You make me happy. What's next? What's next? <laughs> Show us more on the Six of Wands. Someone could be stressing over a child. Someone could be pregnant. Show us more on the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Clarify with the Six of Swords and... The uh, three of swords. There's a successful move and someone is heartbroken over this. Like maybe you're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on and someone is heartbroken over this. Um, show us more on the uh, four of wands. Someone is heartbroken that you're moving on or heartbroken that, yeah, something like that. Um, four of Wands, clarify with the Two of Swords in reverse. So, I mean, it's open communication. I feel like you and this person talk or y'all going to be talking very soon, laying everything on the table. Like, look, okay, let's do this. Let's do that. I don't feel like much of a plan is placed here or is hidden. But I feel like uh, something is going to be revealed. A lot of clarity on where this is going. Show us more on the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Ugh. Six of Cups. Clarify with the Two of Cups. So this is a past life soulmate. Yeah, this is a past life soulmate. You and this person was together in the past life. This is a very strong connection here. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify with the Five of Wands. But it feel like it's competition to settle down or to have a commitment with someone. Maybe someone could be afraid or just oh, King of Wands in reverse. Not yeah, someone is someone not. Oh, I wasn't going. I wasn't trying to go there, but someone may not be ready because they they're someone is ready to settle down. The other person is not. Let's just say that. But it, someone don't want to lose someone, and they know what someone wants. So let me go ahead and make this official. So that's what it's looking like. It's about to go towards King of Wands in reverse. Also, I'm I'm also getting like maybe not even like 
Someone could have a jealous streak. Someone could be jealous of someone's security, financial stability or something. So just look at the red flags in this, in this situation between you and someone. Okay? Show us more on the King of Wands in reverse. Someone could be a fire sign also. Some of you, this could be an ex, okay? Because this energy don't even apply to this energy. This is this seemed like a situation that can grow, can go someplace. It can definitely go where you want it to go. It's going to be happy. It's going to blossom. But then here go this sucker, whoever this is. That's the person that's heartbroken that you're moving on. They're heartbroken that you're moving on. They're jealous. They're envious and they want to compete. How are they going to compete with you? Show us more. On this king of wands in reverse and a five of wands. They can't. There's no competition. Seven of swords in reverse. They can't. They can't deceive you anymore. They can't lie to you. They can't get nothing over on you. The lies, the games, the trickery is off. It's over. It's this whoever this is, it's not it's none. Um so yeah, for a lot of you, that's the case. This is a love situation. Now, for some of you, this could be a family situation where there's some clarity, some truth that's coming out. Something is being exposed. Someone is heartbroken because you're moving on into victory and success due to a situation. Something from the past is being returned to you. Something that was withheld from you. It could be in the form of a home, a house, or money. Someone's financial stability is uh, you're about to be financially stable. Someone was trying to come against you, fight against you. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine. Someone who, someone lost their control, though. They lost their control. They feel defeated for competing. They shouldn't have been, they were trying to compete with you or try to win something over on you. What is this this person was trying to win? So, yeah, someone is left in the five of cups. Sad, regretful. Because mm, they're toxic as heck. Someone is hurt. By what they're finding out too. Someone's ghost is, I mean, ghost. Someone, someone have a, a have an ancestor here that's fighting for you. Whoever this is, they could be a Virgo or a Capricorn, but they're fighting hard. They're fighting for you to give give you something, because something wasn't right, wasn't fair, wasn't just. Show us more on the uh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is a group of people they were trying to get gang up or trying to come against you. Or this could be friends or family that was trying to come against you. But it just looked like now they're favoring you. They're on your side more than theirs or something like that. All right. Please take whichever scenario, whichever situation resonate with you. Okay. Let's give you a... But for the most part, I feel like it's a win situation. Win, however, whichever, whichever way this go for you. But a lot of you, you got a proposal on the table that's about to come in. Or someone is wanting to say things to the next step. And I feel like this is going to make your day because this is what you're wanting anyway. So it looked like a family and a marriage is coming into your future, near future. Children as well or a child. But um, for some of you, you've known this person for a very long time since you were children. Or this is just a past life soulmate. For a lot of you, this is a past life soulmate. Please take it however it resonates. I kind of want to put two titles because I am seeing literally two different scenarios. <laughs> but let's give you an oracle message. Pisces. Pisces. So a lot of you, both of these could resonate with you. Maybe you, if you're a masculine, you figured out who you want to be with. You want to settle down with who you know is the one for you. Okay, um, if you don't, it could be the person that know you are the person for them. So someone could have just gained recently gained this clarity or something. Someone could feel weighed down because of this. They feel pressured to do this, but they want to do this and make them happy. So it's um, all right, partnership. Wow, <laughs> allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your into your personal life and career. And both parties benefits as a result. You are receiving help from the heaven and the and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. 
Pisces. All right, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this message and received some type of clarity, understanding, or if not, you can look into your other signs. All that is listed in the comments below. Look into the other topics as well as the titles for each zodiac sign to see whichever sound like that could be your message. Look into it, listen to it, see if that's your message. If not, just look into next week messages, okay? All right, you guys, until next time.